In order to take development closer to the people, government is devolving some of its functions whose implementation will be precipitated by the Constituency Development Fund. The 2022 national budget is marked by the unprecedented hike of CDF from 1.6 million kwacha to 25.7 million kwacha. This milestone increase does not only promise to take development closer to the people, but is also emphasized to unlock economic opportunities in different communities across the country. Speaking during the 2023 budget consultative meeting at the Malungushu International Conference Center in Lusaka, Finance and National Planning Permanent Secretary, Budgets and Economic Affairs, Mukuli Chikuba, says CDF allocation will increase again in the 2023 national budget. And the main tool that we are using for this decentralization is CDF. You will see in the 2023 budget, CDF will be upscaled and over the medium term it will be upscaled. So again, government is trying to take services down to the people. Civil society organizations have welcomed the announcement with a call for government to address bottlenecks which have hampered effective administration of CDF. There will be need, therefore, to deal with the identified challenges or lacunas um, and allow CDF to roll out uh, at, for a full cycle uh, across all constituencies and draw lessons uh, beyond the already identified uh, problems. So even as government considers increment towards the CDF, I think it's very prudent that issues around bottlenecks, such as the red tape that exists in terms of approving projects, um, is addressed. And then there's also the issue of enhancing capacity of our local authorities to really uh, ensure awareness. JCTR Social and Economic Development Programs Manager Chama Mundia is also looking forward to equitable distribution of CDF. People have raised concerns to say, look, we are at a very much lower level of development compared to other places. We know that Lusaka also has needs, but can we be more equitable? Can we consider, especially the rural areas more and also the poor, so that we are more, um, in terms of, we are, we are addressing the needs at the grassroots, especially for the very poor communities. That way, our development will be balanced. Government has a task to ensure that bureaucratic challenges that have led to delayed disbursement of CDF are addressed adequately. For Diamond News, Wenson Mavor.